Second Hamilton County jury has sentenced convicted murderer Rayshawn Johnson to death. A federal appeals court had ordered a resentencing trial for Johnson because jurors never heard about his abusive childhood. Nine News reporter Bill Price is live in the newsroom now with new information. First reaction to today's sentence, Bill. Brendan, after a nearly week-long trial to save his life, Rayshawn Johnson seemed ready to accept his fate today. That he was going to again going to have a jury recommend he get the death penalty. Just look at how he reacted to the verdict read by a court officer. We therefore unanimously find that the sentence of death should be imposed upon Rayshawn Johnson. Now you can see Johnson simply nodding his head in understanding of the verdict from the jury. This means that Johnson's being sent back to Ohio's death row for the beating murder of Shannon Marks in her East Walnut Hills home 14 years ago. Though his lawyers didn't prepare him for a loss, his attorney says Johnson knew the risks of a second sentencing trial. He spent 14 years on death row. He knew this was a, an option. and. Uh, and he wasn't blind to that fact, so he knew that he could very well be going back to death row. The defense did a good job with mitigation. There's no, no question about that. Uh, but the facts, the aggravating circumstances in this case were so horrible to have someone break into your house and beat you to death with a baseball bat that uh, I think the jury did a really good job with this. Now, Johnson's attorneys say they're considering an appeal. However, Prosecutor Joe Dieter says he would fight that. Carol? All right, thanks, Bill.